Mara nyingi wa Kenya hukosa kupiga ripoti kwa polisi baada ya kupoteza vieti vyao kama vile kitambulisho, nambari za usajili wa magari au cheti chochote kile. Lakini wasichokijua wengi ni kuwa vieti hivyo huweza kutumiwa na wahalifu kutenda maovu na kisha kujisalimisha na kitambulisho chako au vieti vingine na hata kuviacha katika eneo la uhalifu. Leonard Lidigu mwenye umri wa miaka 29 ni mkenya anayeishi Uingereza kwa muda wa miaka miwili sasa na ananieleza kuwa watu asiyowatambua walianza kumdai pesa na magari alizosemekana kuuza na kugundua kuwa mhalifu alitumia kitambulisho chake kilichopotea kusajili laini ya simu ambayo alitumia kuwaibia watu kwa kujifanya muuzaji wa magari so uh, some of my followers on twitter especially were trying to reach me asking me is this you are you the one doing this so i i immediately started talking to them and trying to find out what was going on because i'd been in class the whole day kulingana na mtaalamu wa ulagai kupitia mitandao Felix Atandi kesi kama hizi huweza kutokea mara kwa mara kwani kitambulisho chako kilichopotea kinaweza tumika kufanya uhalifu na kukuweka taabani haswa iwapo hukupiga ripoti kwa polisi For example when you go into a building the purpose is just to identify you for security purposes but after you've already finished your day's business what happens to that data usually some people uh, unscrupulous uh, security agents uh, or officers they sell those books Um, some of them photocopy those books to sell that data because it costs money. Leonard aliwasilisha malalamishi yake kwa idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI na kuhakikishiwa kuwa watafanya uchunguzi ilhali hadi kufikia sasa anadai ahadi hiyo imesalia kuwa ndoto tu kwani bado anapokea vitisho kutoka kwa mhuni anayetumia kitambulisho chake kila anapomwagiza kukoma. The number I tried to make contact on WhatsApp I called they did not pick up. So I resorted to texting and asking them why are you doing this what is why are you pretending to be me and masquerading to be me and talking to people and you know it's illegal so the person became very rude he started hurling insults at me so I was really stressed about it because I didn't know the person actually I've never met the person Kulingana na wakili John Swaka ni muhimu kupiga ripoti kwa polisi pindi tu cheti chako chochote kinapopotea kwani iwapo kitapatikana katika eneo la uhalifu huenda ukashtakiwa kwa kosa hilo na hata kuhukumiwa um, In the event that somebody uses this document elsewhere it will be imperative that uh, you equally report and uh, you demonstrate that uh, it was not you and that uh, you had actually lost that document and that uh, whoever purports to use that document to identify themselves through you they actually criminals and so when that happens then uh, you are able to be exonerated from any crime that uh, results from that particular process yeah, that is why we usually advise people when you lose your personal identifiable information or documents say an id or a passport you are advised to get a, a police ab uh, abstract as well as uh, if it was criminal in nature you get an ob number kumbuka kwamba iwapo kitambulisho chako kitaibiwa na kutumika kutenda uhalifu na kisha kuwekwa kwenye rekodi za watu wa halifu, idara ya polisi itakunyima cheti cha kuonyesha una mwenendo bora kwa kimombo certificate of good conduct huenda kitambulisho kikatumika kufungua akaunti za benki na kuchukua mikopo kusajili laini ya simu kwa nia kuwatapeli watu huku pia ukikosa huduma za serikali kama vile pasipoti miongoni mwa huduma zingine muhimu Kumbuka majuto ni mjukuu huja baadaye. Jujina Magondu K24 saa moja.